Citic Limited Chinese, Zhang Guo Zhang Xin Gu Fen Yuxian Gong Si is a Hong Kong based conglomerate holding company headquartered in the Citic Tower, Admiralty, Hong Kong Island. It is 58% owned by the Chinese state owned Citic Group in Beijing and has shareholders around the world. In the first half of 2017, the company's net profit rose by 60%, with revenue rising 7.6%, and shares rising 10%. Topic: Business areas. Citic Limited, previously known as Citic Pacific, is a diversified company with a primary focus on special steel manufacturing, property, and iron ore mining, which supplies the raw material needed in the making of special steel and property development in mainland China. Citic Pacific's operating segments include special steel, iron ore mining, property, civil infrastructure, power generation and other business areas. Citic Pacific's subsidiaries include Citic Pacific Mining, Citic Pacific Special Steel, Da Chong Hong Holdings Limited and Citic Telecom International. DCH Holdings is a distributor of motor vehicles, food and consumer products. Citic Telecom International owns and operates a telecoms hub that provides interoperability, interconnections and value-added services. On March 3, 2011, Citic Pacific announced its results for the full year ended 31 December 2010. Profit attributable to shareholders was $8,915 million, the second highest in Citic Pacific's history. All operating business segments performed well, in particular special steel. The increase in profit was also driven by the gains from sales of assets, which totaled $3,008 million. The Sino Iron Project is being developed by Citic Pacific Mining, a wholly owned subsidiary of Citic Pacific. It is located at Cape Preston, 100 km southwest of Karatha on the coast of Western Australia's northwestern region of the Pilbara. The Sino Iron Project will mine magnetite iron ore that once processed, can be exported for use in the steelmaking process, where it is a desirable quality product for steel mills, including those of Citic Pacific in China. The Sino Iron Project is intended to help satisfy demand from China's steelmaking industry by providing a reliable source of high quality iron concentrate. The products from the Sino Iron Project will not only be used in Citic Pacific's special steel mills in China, but also in other Chinese steel mills. One of the advantages of magnetite concentrate is its high iron content and low impurities compared to traditional iron ore products. The project was conceived in 2006 with a total cost of under $2 billion. However costs by 2012 had reached $7.1 billion, leading to disputes among the partners of the project. In July 2012, with production due to begin within weeks, the budget was increased further to US$8 billion. The increase was attributed to lengthy delays, cost overruns, the rising Australian dollar, labour shortages and the introduction of the carbon and mining taxes. As one of Citic Pacific's main businesses, Citic Pacific Special Steel is the largest manufacturer dedicated to the production of special steel in China with two operating steel plants, Xingcheng Special Steel and Xinyagong. Through expansion, the company's annual steel producing capacity increased to 8 million tons at the end of 2010. This will grow to 9 million tons by the end of 2011. The two steel plants are ideally located to cover the main markets for special steel in eastern and central China. Major products include the following categories, bar steel, wire steel, mid-to-thick wall seamless steel tubes, special steel plates and special forging steel. 
These are widely used in various industries, including auto components, machinery manufacturing, oil and petrochemicals, transportation, energy, railways, and shipbuilding. On the property line of business, most of CITIC Pacific's properties are large scale projects with locations in mainland China. These include Shanghai's Lu Jia Zui New Financial District Project, the Sichuan Bilu Station and the Center in Jiating, which form part of the city's new railway transport system. Zujiajiao New Town in Shanghai and Noble Manor in Yangzhou are large-scale residential developments offering comprehensive community facilities. Our Shenzhou Peninsula project on Hainan Island will benefit from the government's plan to promote the island as an international tourism destination. History <laughs> 2008 foreign exchange losses controversy In October 2008, the chairman Larry Young disclosed that the firm lost $15 billion, $2 billion due to «unauthorized trades». The unauthorized trades were hedges with a contract value of $9 billion against the Australian dollar, taken out to cover against a $1.6 billion prospective acquisition and capital expenditure. Losses were incurred on the contracts when the currency declined from 98.5% against the US dollar to less than 70%. Its parent company, Citic Group, pledged its support to this subsidiary. The board became aware of this on the 7th of September 2008, and disclosure was made to the financial markets after trading in its shares was suspended on the 20th of October. The company and the Hong Kong Securities and Futures Commission faced questions by legislators about the severe delays in their disclosure, considering the company made a pursuant to a proposed acquisition, that as at 9 September 2008, "...the directors are not aware of any material adverse change in the financial or trading position of the group since 31 December 2007." When the shares resumed trading, the share price had fallen by some 75% since the previous close. As a result of the revelations, two officers were forced to resign in disgrace. Due to her involvement in the loss, the chairman's daughter was demoted. The chairman claimed his daughter Frances Young had not informed him about the situation before its discovery. Managing Director Henry Fan temporarily stepped down from the Executive Council and the chairmanship of the Mandatory Provident Fund Schemes Authority, and all other major public positions he held with effect the 24th of October 2008. On the 3rd of April 2009, trading in Citic Pacific shares was once again suspended, and the Hong Kong Police searched the company's office as part of an investigation into whether the company directors had made false statements about the foreign exchange contracts, as well as company announcements made between July 2007 and March 2009, or had conspired to defraud. On 8 April, Chairman Larry Young resigned, citing the effect of the Commercial Crimes Bureau's visit to the company on public opinion. Managing Director Henry Fan resigned at the same time. They were replaced by Chong Zhenming, the chairman of the CITIC Group. Recent history CITIC Pacific bought most of the assets from the parent company and issue new shares to the parent, making most of the assets of CITIC Group were listing in a stock exchange. However, Citic Group still retained the stake in Citic Guoan Group. 
In 2014 the name of the company was also changed from Citic Pacific Limited Chinese, Zhongxin Tai Fu Yu Xian Gong Si to just Citic Limited Chinese, Zhang Guo Zhongxin Gu Fen Yu Xian Gong Si on the 20th of January 2015. The Japanese General Trading Company Itochu and its Thai Cross shareholding affiliate Jaron Pokfund announced an investment of approximately $80 billion, .4 billion in Citic Limited, the largest investment ever made by a Japanese general trading company. The transaction is also the largest acquisition in China by a Japanese company, and the largest investment by foreigners in a Chinese state owned enterprise. The deal saw Chia Thai Bright Investment, a 50 to 50 joint venture of Itochu and Jaron Pokfund, acquire a 10% stake of Citic Limited from Citic Group for $34.4 billion, .4 billion as well as subscribing new convert convertible preferred shares for $45.9 billion, .9 billion Before the deal, Citic Group owned 77.90% stake, with National Social Security Fund owned an additional 5.00%, making only 17.1% shares of Citic Limited were actually free float at 31 December 2014. The company also had $13.834 billion perpetual capital securities at the 31st of December 2014. On the 9th of January 2017, the consortium of Citic Limited, private equity funds of Citic Capital and Carlyle, bought 80% stake of the franchise rights of McDonald's in Hong Kong and mainland China for a total consideration of up to $2.08 billion. Citic Limited and Citic Capital would own 52% stake collectively via an intermediate holding in a 61.54 to 38.46 ratio, indirectly own 32% and 20% stake respectively, while Carlyle would own 28% separately. 20% stake would be retained by McDonald's via Golden Arches Investments Limited, the trading name of McDonald's Hong Kong. Topic: Subsidiaries. Citic Trust 100%. Topic: Equity Investments. Beijing Sinobo Guoan FC 36% AsiaSat 37.22% via a joint venture <laughs>